When I think of sailing, I think of boat shoes and Hemingway's macho protagonists who toil under harsh conditions. And so I was blown away when I saw the America's Cup race take over the Hudson River. This is the elite technological competition in the sport of sailing where boats are literally flying. The original challenge for the America's Cup that went over to England was from the New York Yacht Club. with a bunch of guys who got this boat that they thought was pretty good and they took it over to uh, England for this race that the uh, British had advertised. And they uh, gave 13 of the best British yachts a thorough thrashing. That story is sort of what the America's Cup is today. The uh, Queen asked, and who's second? And her footman said, man, there is no second. The boats are very, very powerful, but their actual weight, the actual weight of the boat's very low, which means they've got a great power to weight ratio. That's what allows them to fly. In the olden days, uh, previous cups, we'd be lucky to make a 1% gain. We're talking about 10% a year, maybe 20% between the cups. That's an incredible change, and that's because we're in this new whole way of sailing the boats. They can go fast enough without creating so much drag that they can actually have enough power to lift the boat up out of the water. Once they start flying, they go much faster, sort of 15, 20% faster, because they've lifted the hulls out of the water. The innovation is due to the use of hydrofoils. In 2013, Team Oracle USA took foil design to the next level in its 72-foot catamarans, and it is the current defending champion. Boats are going twice as fast than they were just a decade ago and have broken the famed 50-knot barrier. The boats are essentially gliding above the water on the foils, which are called dagger boards. As the foils cut through the water, fluid forming over the upper surface of the foil moves faster than the fluid on the bottom, creating the pressure difference needed for lift. At a certain speed, the lift produced by the hydrofoils equals the weight of the boat, and the hull comes out of the water. Yachts use manual power, and the challenge is to make the right tactical decisions. Grinding drives hydraulic pumps, which deliver high-pressure oil that has to be managed carefully for maneuvers. I think it's possible we could see the boats never touching down in the right wind conditions. They could sail the whole race above the water. It's been a technical arms race uh, since yeah. 1850, really just starting, you know. We've gone from a 2,000, 5,000 year old way of making boats to something that's brand new, not even 10 years old. So. In 10 years from now, we could be on a whole new thing.